द प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन ऑफ टू फाइव जीरो एट इज टू डू प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन फर्स्ट वी शुड फ्रेम इट इन दिस वे सी दैट इज टू फाइव जीरो एट ओके नेक्स्ट For this number, the last digit is eight, which is even. So we take two here. The first number is two. When do we get two in two table? Two ones two. The other number five. A number close to five in two table is two twos four. Five minus four one one carried forward, making it ten. When do we get ten in two table? Two fives ten. The other number eight. When do we get eight in two table? Two fours eight. Now for this number, last digit four, a one. So we take two here. The first number is one, one smaller than two. So we should take two numbers. That is twelve. Whenever we take two numbers, compulsory we should put zero. But zero at the starting does not count. So no need to write zero at the starting. So here we have twelve. When do we get twelve in two table? Two six twelve. The other number five, a number close to five in two table is two two's four. Five minus four one one carried forward, making it fourteen. When do we get fourteen in two table? Two sevens fourteen. Now for this number, last digit is seven, not even, so this number not divisible by two. Next to prime number three. To check divisibility by three, for that we should add the digits. That is six plus two plus seven. We get fifteen. Is fifteen divisible by three? Yes. So this number also divisible by three. So we take three here. The first number is six. When do we get six in three table? Three to six. The other number two, two smaller than three, so we should take two numbers. That is twenty-seven. Whenever we take two numbers, we should compulsory put zero. Zero at the start, even if you don't write, does not make any difference. But in between, if you are taking two numbers, then zero is necessary. Understood the difference? In between, zero must. At the starting, zero not necessary. Now here we have twenty-seven. When do we get twenty-seven in three table? Three nines twenty-seven. Now for this number, last digit nine, not even, so this number is not divisible by two. Next prime number three. To check divisibility by three, for that we should add the digits. That is two plus zero plus nine. We get eleven. Eleven is not divisible by three, so this number also not divisible by three. Next prime number five. The last digit is neither zero nor five, so this number is not divisible by five. Next prime number seven. Let us check divisibility by seven. So two zero nine by seven. Seven ones. Here we have fourteen. Here we have twenty. A number close to twenty in seven table is seven twos fourteen. Twenty minus fourteen is six. Six carried forward, making it sixty nine. We don't get sixty nine in seven table, so this number is not divisible by seven. Next prime number eleven. Let us check divisibility by eleven. That is two zero nine by eleven. Eleven ones. Here we have twenty. A number close to twenty in eleven table is eleven ones eleven. Twenty minus eleven is nine nine carried forward, making it ninety nine. When do we get ninety nine in eleven table? Eleven nines ninety nine. So yes, this number is divisible by eleven. And here we write this number that is nineteen. Now we have nineteen. Nineteen is a prime number, so nineteen ones nineteen. We got one here. So the prime factorization of two five zero eight is the product of these numbers. 
okay product of these numbers that is 2 into 2 into 3 into 11 into 19 so this is the prime factorization of 2508 this also called as product of prime numbers of 2508 am i clear